Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you and we bless your name, Lord, because of another opportunity that you've given unto us so that we can fellowship with you through your word today. We thank you, Father, even for uh, the fellowship that you will give unto us this day. I pray for my viewer from wherever they are tuned from in the name of Jesus, that you may bless them, that you may lift them, encourage each one of us at this particular time, even as we break bread together. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to be together with us this day so that, Father, you will um, remind us about, about Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you because of everything that you have done upon our lives. Thank you for sustaining us at times such as this, O oh God. Thank you for keeping us in Christ Jesus. We thank you and we bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. So if you come in, just share. Share with a friend. Share with your relative. Share with, with anybody you want to share with so that they can benefit also uh, through the word the Lord has given to us this morning. For uh, his word is what we need today at times such as this. Hallelujah. So the title of, title of our message today is Our Identity in Christ. Our Identity in Christ. As you come in, I want to thank God for you. I want to thank God uh, that he has enabled you to, to tune in at times such as this. You are welcome. You are welcome from wherever you are. You are welcome. Uh, and let us uh, share the word of God together in Jesus' name. So, the title of our message, as I said, is Our Identity in Christ. And the reference word is in Galatians 2 and first number 20. Galatians 2 and first number 20. The Bible says, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live but Christ lives in me the life I now live in the body I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave me and give, gave himself for me Amen so today um, we want to see our about our identity in Christ and I see it's one of the most important deliberations uh, that God has for us. A liberation is actually a divine or supernatural uh, supernatural disclosure that is given to human beings by God himself, by God himself. So, uh, the liberation of who we are um, is very, very powerful. It's actually very, very powerful. Yeah. So, you see, the power of God is in the liberation of his word. The power of God is in the liberation of his word. Even let alone understanding it. Liberation is it's, it, it's really powerful. So we better be seeking for the liberation of the word even as we read it. So when Peter got to know eh, that Jesus is the Christ, Jesus is the Christ or the Messiah, you know, Jesus said 
he could not have known it by himself apart from it being refilled being refilled uh, by his father in heaven in heaven and then you see because of that liberation jesus had to change the name of simon you know you know the name of simon from simon actually from simon barajona because actually simon was known as simon barajona you know, he was connected with his earthly father simon barajona okay and then jesus changed his name to peter peter means a stone sebas petras it means a stone hmm? some people say a small stone some people say a small rock but it, it meant a stone and you know jesus is a rock so what happened is that because of that liberation you know jesus changed the name of peter the name of simon to peter to connect him with his identity because jesus is a rock and every a, a, a stone comes from a rock so the purpose of changing the name of simon to peter was to connect him with his rock with his identity praise the name of the lord jesus christ that is exactly what happens to you and me when we get born again when we get born again and have jesus as our lord and savior our names are changed praise the name of the lord our names are changed to to christ <laughs> amen yeah? because we are connected to christ we are connected to these uh, uh, to, to the lock who is christ who is christ so we will see the life of peter after his name was changed hmm? his destiny we see his life and his destiny change completely if you look at the 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 the, the, the word of if you look at the, the scriptures the bible you will see from this time the name of peter you know you, the peter himself as an apostle he became a very very known and he did quite a lot he did quite a lot from that particular time when he was changed to become uh, to, to you know we call, he was connected he was connected to jesus who is the law so our names are also changed when you, you know when we get connected to christ and then our destiny is com uh, changed completely our destiny is changed completely so uh, you will realize that if you live in the long or with a long identity there are many things and many things that you will not do you will limit you you'll be limited to what you know you will be limited to your connection you will be limited to your identity so there is a great untapped potential hidden in us you know but it, it cannot be employed because possibly we are we are operating in the long identity thus destinies are hindered due to operating in the long identification praise the name of the lord jesus christ if one knows you know for example for example amen if you are a son of a king and you are found uh, operating uh, very low in life you are operating like you are you are living in majengo you are living in majengo you have left the paris you you do not know you belong to the paris but you are living in majengo hmm? you will be so limited you'll be so limited because you will be doing the things the majengo people do praise the name of the lord jesus christ amen but if you knew yeah, but the minute you know that you are connect you belong to the king the minute you know that you belong to the parish hmm, your destiny completely changes your destiny completely changes the untapped potential you know now hmm, you know will, 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 will flow out and will work 
for you. So we need to know that eh, our destinies are hindered yeah, because of our operating in the long identification. So when you get to know your identity, you will never be the same again. Your destiny has a lot to do with your, your identity. So your identity is so important, you know, as you know, so important in your life today as a Christian. We need divine God's divine or supernatural wisdom to understand who we are in Christ. Hmm? Identifying with Christ will change the way we do our things, the way we live, the way we walk, the way we 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 we, we operate in our daily endeavors. Hmm? But not understanding our identity in Him will keep us living, you know, far below our rights and privileges in Christ. We shall therefore limit our growth, you know, into maturity. We will be fighting out there, not knowing who we are, not knowing, you know, how we are supposed to, what we are supposed to do at any given time. Hallelujah. But I thank God that we are identified with Christ. So when you get to know who you are, you will be resourced from the praise of your identification. I'll say that again. When you get to know who you are, you will be resourced eh? from the praise of your identification. So identity now it becomes like like the roots of a tree, you know, that feed the tree to maturity. Feed the tree to maturity. You will feed from the sap of your identity and bear much fruit. Hallelujah. Hmm? So in everyday lives, in our everyday lives, we identify, it becomes easy, it becomes easy to identify ourselves with the organization, with our organizations, with our places of work, with the occupation, with the nationality, with the church, you know. But we, we really want to be identified with Christ, and that's where we come from. And let me tell you, it is not, it is, it is, a liberation. It is a great liberation to know that you are connected to Christ. It's a great liberation. And we need to grab it today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm? We need to, live, to be referred or we need to have that reference Christ and connection with Christ. Let us know that that is our connection. Let us know that we, need, we are identified with Christ. Hmm? So we have then, the Bible says, we have been crucified with Christ. Not, not only did we die with him on the cross at Calvary, but we have been laced together with him. Praise the name of the Lord. I love that. We have been laced together with him. Hmm? The Bible says in Ephesians, Ephesians 2, verse number 4 to 7, and that one, that one we will read. It says, But God who is rich in mercy, because of his great love, with which he loved us, verse number five, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ by, by grace, you have been saved. We have been saved through grace. Verse number six says, and laid us together and made us sit in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Verse number seven, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. According to scripture, we are seated, we are seated, you know, with Christ in heavenly places. 
in heavenly places. Hmm? And unfortunately, some Christians are having, you know, an identity crisis. An identity crisis. We need to know that we are connected to Christ. We need to know that uh, we, ha we are identified with him. Or we have to identify ourselves with him. Hmm? Well, many Christians don't know who they are in Christ or where they are seated. You need to know you are seated where? In heavenly places together with him. Instead of identifying people, instead of identifying themselves with Christ, they identify, they instantly learn to identify themselves with their problems that they are going through. Hallelujah. Which is wrong. We need to identify ourselves with Christ, not with the problems that we are going through. Hmm? People identify with this, themselves with, for example, eh, I am divorced, mm -hmm. or I am bankrupt, or I am a salesman, or I am, I, I, I am diabetic, or I am hypertensive. You know, that is a long identity. Mm -hmm. When you identify yourself like that, then you will enjoy the fruit eh, of your identity. But when you identify yourself with Christ, then you will enjoy with the exceedingly leeches of his grace in his kindness, in his own kindness. You will enjoy because when you, you, you will enjoy when you connect yourself with Christ or identify yourself with Christ, you will enjoy the fruits thereof. It will be like a tree you know, that is getting the root, the food from the roots and grows healthy every time. This is very, very, very important for each one of us. So uh, some, identities, some, some identities will, will lead us to ruin. Let's identify ourselves with Christ because that's where we come from. That's who we are. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't identify yourself with any sickness. Mm, you, because you will be like that sickness. We have discovered that when, Pit, when Peter, you know, discovered who Christ is, his name was changed to a stone because Jesus is a rock. So we are always identified from where we come from. And look at what happened. Jesus... Yeah, knew that that Simon belong, Simon's father was Jonah and most of the time he was calling himself he was calling him eh, Simon Bar Jonah but this particular time he changed his name to Peter to Peter Peter a stone you know and Jesus is the lock he identified him with where he with, with, with his with his divine divine identity which really matters we need to identify ourselves with a divine connection with a divine identity who is Christ when when you understand who Christ is then you will enjoy to be identified with him right now he is Right now, he is in heaven at the right hand of God. Eh? Doing what? Mediating for each one of us. So when we pray, eh? when we pray, we need to know that we are identified with him who mediates for us. Our lives are connected to him who is the creator of heaven and earth. So when we pray, we need to know we do not beg. It's not about begging. It is asking. Asking is not begging. Asking is receiving, is, ask, is, uh, uh, is requesting that which, you know, you have a take in. Because 
We belong to Christ. We belong to God. We are sons of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. There are many things that have to change after knowing, you know, after having the liberation of who you are in Christ. Many things in our lives have to change. Hmm? Have to change. The Bible says there is nothing that was that was created that was created without him. Nothing was created without God. Jesus. He was there from the beginning. He is Alpha and Omega. He is one who died for you and died for me. He, we are connected. We are one. We are co-hires together with him. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we need to know. Hmm? It doesn't matter what is surrounding us. We do not belong to our other, uh, uh, other, other origins. But we belong to God by first of accepting Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We are connected to him. We are Christ, let alone being Christ's ambassadors. We are Christ, let alone being the representative, his representatives on earth. We are Christ. Hmm? We are like Peter. We are, we are, we are stones. Hmm? We are living stones. That's what the Bible says. So, when uh, there are many things that will change, the Bible says, uh, Corinthians five and not first number seventeen, that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. He is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. There's another translation that says, When somebody becomes a Christian, he becomes a bloody new person inside. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> he is not the same anymore. A new life has begun. So before we, before we, we were in Christ, we were destined to, to death and destruction. But now that we have Christ in us, then we, we are destined for eternal life. Eternal life. Hmm? The Bible says in John, in 1 John, 1 John 2 and verse number 25, and it says, and this is the promise that he has promised us, eternal life. We have been promised eternal life. Praise the name of the Lord. So before Christ, we were destined to despair, to degradation, to poverty, name of them. But uh, in Christ, we are destined to have life and have it more hmm, abundantly. John 10, 10 B. Hmm, to have it more abundantly. So in Christ, you know, in Christ, we are a people. We who were not a people, we are now a people. Hmm? Even if we are surrounded by problems, we are surrounded by COVID-19, we are surrounded by, by things that, that uh, in human terms are not understandable. We only need to know who we are connected to. We need to know our identity. Our identity is Christ who conquered death. Hey, our, he conquered death. Therefore, we need to square our shoulders and know where we come from. We know our identity. Our lives change, especially so when we know who we are. We need to know who we are. Praise the name of the Lord. There is more illustration here. When the prodigal son, you know, left his home, I would say his home or his father's home, he went and he was living and eating and identifying himself with poverty. He identified himself with lavishness. He identified himself with, uh, with failure. Hmm? He left his home 
So he left that identity and he went and connected himself with another identity. Let me tell you, when you leave your identity, when you leave your proper identity or the true and the divine identity, you will, you will, you will identify with things and issues of life or the world, you know, you will get lost. The prodigal son was to get lost until he realized, oh, until he had a liberation. And then a kind of liberation came to his life. That if he was in his father's house, he would be, he, you know, he would be better than he is. And that's why he said he wants to be called, you know, he wants to uh, let him be called, um, you know, a, a servant, or, you know, in that home or something. Because it is better even to be called a servant in the right identity eh, than to be called a rich man in the long identity. So we need eh, to know that we have an identity in God. We are sons of the living God by the fashion of our identification with Christ. Once we know that, our lives will never be the same again. Even as we walk, even as we work, whatever we do, we need to know who we are. We need to know our hope. Through Christ Jesus, heaven, where our Father lives, and Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit lives, that is our home. Hallelujah. Because we are identified with Christ. Our identity is in Christ. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm? There is a story that I just want to touch as I finish. This, you, you, you know this, you know Gideon. You know Gideon? You know, I'll talk about Gideon. The scriptures, you know, talk about Gideon, the word of God. It talks about this Gideon. This Gideon, what actually happened is that uh, he was hiding from the Midianites. He was hiding from the Midianites. He hid inside a wine press to thresh his wheat. He believed that the Midianites would take all he had. That's what he believed. That the Midianites would come and take the little he had. If they saw, if they saw him threshing, uh, threshing the grain. That is in Judges. You read the book of Judges. Judges 6, uh, 1 to 11 it, to help you. That one, but one day, the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon and said, The Lord is with thee. Hmm? Mighty man of far. Hallelujah. Hey, Gideon did not, did not even get that. He was, he was thinking, you know, something else is happening. Or this angel is talking to somebody else. Gideon was, because Gideon knew, you know, his identity was Manasseh. His other identity is the list of Manasseh. But he did know who he was in God. God knew him as a mighty man of Pharaoh. But Gideon knew he was the least of Manasseh. That's how we are. He had a liberation. God sent an angel to tell him who he is, who he really is. And then when that dawns in his spirit, his life was never the same again. Finally, finally, he saw himself, you know, a mighty man of heart. Once you take the word of God the way it is, your life will be changed. So he went to deliver the Israelites. And let me know, tell you, it happened. <laughs> it happened. It doesn't matter how long Gideon eh, lived in fear. It doesn't matter how long Gideon lived eh, you know, uh, you know, and uh, the long identity. Hmm? But th the time he knew and he took a step of faith, then his life was changed. And not only his life was changed, the life of the children of Israel. 
Amen. That's what happens. Abraham. Abraham's name was changed. You know, from Abraham to Abraham. When he understood, when he had actually understood his identity with God. When he understood his identity with God. That is the time God changed his name. Hmm? Hallelujah. It was impossible for Abraham and his wife Sarah to have children. God wanted them to know, to have a liberation of who they are until they discovered who they were. Hmm? God changed his name from Abraham to Abraham. <clears throat> Hallelujah. And God said, no longer will you be called Abraham. Your name will be Abraham. For I have made you a father of many nations. He identified with God. When he identified with God, he identified with his, with his purpose. With his purpose. When he identified himself with God and his purpose, then God changed his name. Praise the name of the Lord. Because God calls those things that are not as though they are here. That is actually what the Bible says in Romans, uh, Romans 4 and verse number 17. In the natural, in the natural, God, some things do not exist. But in the spirit, things exist. And we need to, to work and stay with that kind of elevation. We, we need to see ourselves, you know, with the eyes of God. We need to know who we are in the eyes of God. What we are in heaven, you know, what we are known in heaven is what really matters. We are known as a, you know, as a, as a, as a, a as, as, as Christ, we are known as Christians, we are known as believers. That is what we are known. We are known as those that follow Christ. We are known, we are connected. When God looks at us, he sees Christ in us. We are connected, in, you know, we, we are connected to Christ. So everything that belongs to Christ belongs to us. Every riches in glory belongs to us. And that's why there are good names that we see, you know, you know, in the Bible that we need to, to, to relate ourselves with that. The Bible says we are new creatures. We are indeed new creatures, new creation. Yeah? The Bible says we are in the, the righteousness of God in Christ. Yes, we are. Yeah? When God says then we are we have been healed, then we have been healed. We are not sick. Hallelujah. Coronavirus will not reach you. Hey, hallelujah. Why? We are already healed. Hmm? Yeah? When the Bible says, we have been made rich. Hmm? That is what the, the Bible says in 2 Cor Corinthians 8 and verse, verse number 9, that Christ became poor for our sake. So we have been made rich. Those are the, those are the words of God, you know, good identities when we identify ourselves with the works that Christ has done. So, the Bible says we are accepted. Yeah, we are accepted. Yeah? yeah, We are accepted. Even the world, if you are accepted in heaven, even the world has to accept you. Hmm? Wherever you are, you have to be accepted. You are a son of a king. Hey, you are a son of a king. You will be accepted everywhere. The Bible says we are free of sin. Hallelujah. Amen. Let no sin come into your life. Refuse to work. Refuse to walk in areas that could make you dirty. You are a son of a king. You are a blood washed. Hallelujah. Do not live below your light as a Christian. As one identified with Christ. Psalms 23 and verse number 4. Yeah. I, even though I pass through the shadow of the valley of death, I shall fear no evil. And I want to declare that you fear no evil because eh, we are 
identified with Christ. Christ never fears evil, so we should not fear. Amen. So you need to know that you are identified through your ident our identification with Christ. Eh? We can walk on his necks eh? and his scorpions, and they will not harm us. Eh? We can, we can, we can, we can walk eh? in miracles. Why? Because eh? it is no longer I that liveth, but Christ lives in me. Christ lives in you. Be identified with Christ. When you are identified with Christ, all the blessings of God that are bestowed upon Christ belongs to you and belongs to us. You can walk and not faint. You can learn eh, and not faint for that matter because God is together with you. You are the blessed of the Lord. Christ knows you. You are identified with him. You belong to him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Next week, we shall look at, uh, at, uh, at uh, the changes, the changes in our lives, you know, after yeah, being identified with Christ. But right now, let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you, my God, even for your word that has encouraged us today. We thank you, Father, Holy Demon, for knowing that our identity is in Christ. We thank you, my Father, for knowing that the blessings bestowed upon Christ, they also belong to us. My Father, we thank you because we have known that we are more than congalas. We are representatives of the Lord Jesus Christ here. For we belong to Christ by virtue of being connected to the source. We are resourced from heaven. We thank you because, Jehovah Father, we shall walk tall from now, my God, after knowing who we are in Christ. Father, I want to thank you for everybody who listened to us today. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will lift them. You will bless them, my Father God. I pray, my Father, that this word will lead them to the next level, to the glory and honor, Lord, thy name. I want to thank you, Lord, and I want to bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. And we all say, Amen. And if you are with us, you have been listening to us, uh, and you do not know Jesus as so your Lord and Savior, please make this decision. Make that kind of decision. When you make the decision of receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you will be connected, you will be identified with him, and heaven shall be your home. Not only heaven, the blessings of God that are in Christ Jesus will belong to you. You will start operating in a new land. So make that decision today in Jesus' name. And you who listened to us from wherever you listened to us from, may God bless you. May he keep you. May you know that you are connected. Eh? To Christ. You belong to God. You are a son of the Most High. You are blessed in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen.